Hi everybody and happy Monday. I am bringing this video to you live from my childhood bedroom. I decided to take advantage of working from home and decided to work from my parents' home in Delaware. So I'm up here for a few days. So bringing this video to you live from the Barbara household. So today I'm gonna to be talking, um, continuing on Pastor Christie's sermon yesterday um, based on the movie, the Disney movie Pocahontas and her message to do not fear. So I really like the message that God promises to bring out the good in everything. So do not be afraid because we know that God always has a path for us, even though we might not know what that path is. So this sermon I was especially thinking about a time um, six years ago actually I keep saying a few years ago but it was actually six years ago when I traveled to the Middle East and I talked about um, as I was talking about my experiences in the Middle East reflecting on the power of prayer and how powerful that was and how powerful I felt that prayer especially in times when I was around people who were different than me they spoke a different language than me um, a culture that was very different than the culture that we have in Richmond or even in America. Even just the different foods that we ate and different experiences that we encountered. The whole time we had to learn to trust God and to take time to listen to where God was leading us. And during this trip, I was in the middle of college and I found that in my busy life, as I'm sure a lot of you are very busy with sports and school and summer activities and things like that, that sometimes you forget to stop and maybe look at the two paths that are in front of you and to think about, God, what, where are you leading me? And to ask God for that guidance instead of maybe being frustrated by not knowing which path to take or which way that you feel like you are being led. So Pastor Christie especially talked about um, three different ways that, um, or three different resources that we can consult um, when we're fearful about which direction to take. The first one she talked about was prayer. So during the Sunday school lesson um, in this memo, I talked about a resource called Prayer Hands, where you use your hand to guide to guide your prayer thoughts, um, to focus on scripture. So looking, reading scripture and um, listening to what the words of our faith tell us. And then a wise sage, which um, took me some thought to really think about what that meant for me, but I really Thinks, you can really think about it as who is a mentor in your life? Who, when you have these questions, can you talk to besides praying to God? Who is someone who models a life of faith for you? Is it your Sunday school teacher? Is it Pastor Christy? Is it me? Is it maybe your grandmother? Maybe Grandmother Willow? But, so I think it is... Um, you know, especially important as we go forth to remember that message that we have so many resources for us. And as children of God and followers of Jesus, we can always turn to those resources, resources in God and putting our trust into Jesus that we do not need to be afraid because God tells us to do not fear because he always has a plan for us. So I hope you all have a great week and talk to you soon. Bye.